Joe Biden is collapsing and deteriorating right before our very eyes. Ask me if I'm surprised. You are now on Watch with Drew Hernandez. Well, now the Democrat Party is in full disarray. They are totally divided and they are collapsing. You have the new guard wanting to do away with Joe Biden and you have the old guard that is not leaving anytime soon. And you could clearly see that. But Joey had a, another disastrous weekend in news. Walk to podium. Fresh leaks show Biden aides micromanaging his every move with verbal and visual cues. This is the gateway pundit. The leaks are flying out of the White House as staffers who want old Joe to step aside seek to spread the word about his declining health. According to a report from Axios, Biden staffers are preparing large documents with instructions for his every move, including something as simple and obvious as walking up to the podium. You cannot make this up. And there are the images that are apparently prepared by White House staff to President Biden at an event so he knows where to walk. Walk to podium, walk to podium. The report explains before a presidential event, the White House sends event staffers a document to emulate when preparing their own materials for the president. The staffer who helped with the fundraiser told Axios, quote, it surprised me that a seasoned political pro like the president would need detailed verbal and visual instructions on how to enter and exit a room. Yeah, a seasoned political pro. Joe Biden is a vegetable and has lost his mind. Biden officials attempted to downplay the documents with a spokesperson arguing that high levels of detail and precision are critical to presidential advanced work, regardless of who is president. And these are basic approaches that are used by any modern advanced team including the vice president's office and agencies. A spokesperson for Kamala Harris added that such documents represent, quote, standard logistical briefing materials and photos for any principal, including the vice president, end quote. The revelations come as growing numbers of elected Democrat lawmakers, officials, donors, strategists, commentators, and other party bigwigs call on Biden to drop out of the race because of his ongoing mental decline. Biden, meanwhile, insists that he is not going anywhere. The coming weeks and months will certainly be interesting. And yes, every public appearance that Joe Biden is making, it seems is more damaging the more and more he is seen in the public eye because of his obvious mental and physical decline. Here's an example. Biden tells creepy story about pulling over to talk to schoolyard kids during stop at Democrat campaign office in Philadelphia. Take a look. But I'm not able to do what I used to do. I'd be riding down the street in the, in the, in the vehicle before and see a bunch of kids in the schoolyard waving. I'd stop and get out. Realistically, I can't do that anymore. It's, it's just too dangerous what's going on out there. The black woman in the background's facial expression Tells you everything you need to know. But look, uh, even when I was running for Senate, and each time I ran, quite frankly, not a joke, Philadelphia in particular, got me across the line. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Or, 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 no, I mean, I mean, seriously, organization, organizationally. So yes, apparently Joe Biden thinks that Joe Biden was a senator in Philadelphia. Yeah. I mean, this has to be a total disaster if you are working within the Biden administration. Here's Joe Biden admitting that people are still struggling in the country, and he's been the president for the past four years. Folks, there's a lot of people still struggling because since, the, since we ended the pandemic, well, I'll be Blair Blum since I ended the pandemic, he didn't. <laughs> Corporate profits have doubled, doubled. And we got to do something about it. And here's Joe Biden again. I have no idea what he's saying. With your help, I know we have your help. With my help, we're helping us working together. We're going to get a hell of a lot done for the American people. And we're going to make sure these things are. So anyway, I guess if I stand here long enough, all those folks in the back are going to die of sunstroke. If we have anybody out there that is a Joe Biden interpreter, please let us know in the comments below what this man just attempted to say.
Oh, and it gets worse. He had a pander fest at a black church in Philadelphia. Watch Dementia Joe Biden's visit to black church in Philly turns into a disaster after Bishop excuses his cognitive decline as, quote, stammering. I don't know why it is that you want to make an issue of the president and his condition with stammering and not being able at certain times to bring forth words while another person lies fluently and you never challenge his lies. Joe Biden attempted to reboot his faltering campaign in Philadelphia on Sunday and unsurprisingly embarrassed himself once again. As ABC News reported, Dementia Joe visited Mount Airy Church of God in Christ, a historically black church in Northwest Philadelphia. Here are a few highlights of uh, Joey's pander fest in this black church in Philly. It's brutal. And I want to thank, uh, thank you uh, for, uh, you know, I said, Bishop, it's good to be home. Please sit down. I got my start in public life, never intending to run for office as a public defender in the civil rights movement. And uh, I was no great shakes, but I worked hard in Delaware. Let us stand together. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, cross, where where I first saw the light. And the the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy. Nobody told me that the world would be easy. I don't believe he brought me to America. Land that I love Stand beside her And guide her Through the night It is abundantly clear, and we've been saying this for years, that Joe Biden, his brain, is cooked. Now, the whole nation sees it. Democrats are finally admitting it. And they're attempting to remove Joe Biden virtually overriding the wishes and the votes of Democrat voters in the primaries and the caucuses of 2023 leading up to 2024. And they'll call it democracy. But one thing is true, that this is a good matchup for Trump because a fallen, a collapsing physically and mentally, Joe Biden is, I think, what anyone would want to run against. That's a W in the bag if they don't rig the election. This has been On Watch with Drew Hernandez for the Gateway Pundit. I'll see you guys on the next one.